Hi everybody, it's Chocolate Tea Dog, national award-winning author of Scared Poopless, The Straight Scoop on Dog Care, and world's tiniest rabies vaccine safety advocate. I bet your vet never told you how dangerous the rabies vaccine can be. What good would a warning have done anyway? This shot is required by law. But now you need to know, because finally we can change things. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for vaccinating against rabies. Experts agree, rabid dogs make lousy pets. But here's the thing, this vaccine isn't really all that safe. Side effects right after injection are easy to spot. Vomiting, facial swelling, fever and lethargy, circulatory shock, loss of consciousness, and even death. But will you make the connection if days, weeks, or even months after the shot, your dog develops an injection site cancer, seizures or epilepsy, autoimmune disease, allergies, skin diseases, muscle weakness, chronic digestive disorders, or behavior problems like separation anxiety, OCD, or aggression? And did you know that big dogs and little dogs get exactly the same size shot? and that that exposes us little guys to additional health problems? Official reporting of adverse reactions is voluntary and rare. Delayed and unexpected reactions seldom get linked to the vaccines that caused them. For me, this is personal. My boyfriend Jiggy developed autoimmune liver disease after a rabies shot. I wish he could show you his sick liver. Thank you, Jiggy. That was helpful. Seriously, folks, it's time we all took off our blindfolds and stopped treating dogs like dartboards. We need to make this vaccine as safe as possible, ensure that adverse reactions are reliably reported, and most importantly, we need to vaccinate only as often as necessary to prevent rabies. When poor Meadow developed a malignant tumor at a rabies shot injection site, his mom took action and got Maine's two-year law changed to three. Then she started the Rabies Challenge Fund. Renowned immunology experts have already begun conducting a study to prove what they already know, that immunity from the vaccine lasts at least seven years. That means a dog living to age 14 would only get three shots in his lifetime instead of the currently required 6 to 15. Shouldn't science, not politics or economics, determine how long a shot lasts? Can your dog really afford to keep waiting and waiting till 50 state governments decide to fund studies and change their laws? or until pharmaceutical companies recommend less frequent vaccination because they suddenly want smaller profits? That chance of that. Did you know that my good friend Benji, the famous movie star and activist, says the rabies vaccine study is long overdue and gives it four big paws up? And so do Jiggy and I.